Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's up, you too. Anybody know video? I'm doing for this Friday night, y'all, man. Okay, okay, I'm doing type of, you know, breaking on um, breaking story, breaking news, you know, out of um, Hoover, Alabama, you know, which part of them I said not that Birmingham to where, you know. I said that the, um, the people, you know, you know, the, um, so I feel like the people, you know, that Hoover, Alabama, you're looking for the 25 year old woman, um, okay, that was, um, Carly Rose and how that she was missing yesterday and um yeah I read some way that that uh that she was driving on this state and um somehow you know she says a child you know walking through this state you know uh, how she uh kind of seen the little baby was uh, walking through this state and how she's trying to like, you know help the child you know how the people say that you know that uh I think Carly Russell was like trying like, you know I think she was driving home from from work and how she had seen a toddler. Walking through the state, man, you know, how, how they, uh, I guess trying to help the child, you know, but how the things, you know, were happening to, to her that her family, um, had thought that she was, like, missing, um, how they, you know, this, you're looking for the baby and the child, you know, they, um, yeah, I say that, you know, they're looking for the, um, the woman and the child, uh, so, and so they said that, you know, they are trying to, like, you know, locate the, um, you know, trying to, like, you know, I say, like, look for the, um, the woman, Kelly Russell, and the baby. So, I don't know if the baby is still alive. I don't know. I guess she said that, you know, they said that, you know, that she had drove, you know, through the state and how the baby just walked through the state, man, how, um, and so, you know, they said that, you know, they found her keys, her phone, and the car, so I think the people you know out there you know Birmingham is looking for the twenty five year woman how um how that she was missing since yesterday man so I don't know if she did or she around alive I don't know man but you um, know so I feel like that you know it's a thing to worry you know if you go missing for probably probably you know for a couple of days means that things do happen like things can happen to uh I say individual who be you, you know someone who's missing someone who. Who lost, you know, they look for their family members who's, you know, who probably, I said, I said, the idea of walking around the street somewhere, man, but I feel like they, you know, miss the people of, of likely, to, you know, kind of like be likely to be killed or, or to be kidnapped or murdered, man, but I feel like they, you know, they kill you versus, you know, she's probably missing uh, right now, so I feel like that her family's still concerned about, I think, her whereabouts, you know, on where she was, you know, on where she was at. At the time, and uh, how the people, you know, might find out who is, you know, who basically try to find her, man. But I feel like they, you know, it's a sad thing. It's, you know, they hear about a family member gone, you know, out there, near, man, disappeared, dead, man, or missing, man. But I feel like they, you know, the people in our dead Hoover is still, you know, got, you know, great hopes that, that she might be found. And so, and I feel like they, you know, I feel for the family that lost their loved ones to some, you know, and uh, I hope they find the baby too, though, man. But um, yeah, hope they find the baby. And um, uh, yeah, I'm still you know, praying for the family too, though, man. So um, hopefully you know she might be back in you know back with her family, man. But um, so and so I'm gonna clip for y'all. Um, so I'm gonna clip for y'all for the um, you know, basically for the video for y'all. So you know, so as so much as like, comment, and and subscribe with peace. I'm out of here. Take care of peace. What I can do, um, I not, might not be able to go out and search for her, but I can do that. And our neighbors did. I mean, they showed up. It was, it was just great. So. Um, well, I was a little bit surprised just because I had not, I mean, I put it out this morning. I had a couple, couple people that had said something about it and um, had commented on it, but then all these people showed up. But I'm not surprised that all these people showed up, and we do. We live in a great neighborhood. Our community is fabulous. I mean, we had a fire in the neighborhood, and our, our neighbors rallied around her. I mean, we might not know everybody, and we might not know their first names, but they live in Lake Wilburn, and I mean, this community just really rallies around people that are in hard times and I mean whether the time then you know not sure where your daughter is so. um, well as a mom of older girls it makes me very frightened and of course I have conversations with them about what they need to do and not do um, I know this community is safe However, yes, as a mom of grown girls, it's scary.
is scary. continue to pray. I'm going to continue to pray for her safe return. I'm going to continue to pray for her family. The police department, he's the investigations division commander and one of our public information officers. Uh, he's going to be reading uh, for you guys a uh, update in the case that we sent out earlier this morning. Uh, after this is over with, we'll email you guys a copy of his remarks so that everybody has that. Uh, after he's done reading, um, the statement that will be a brief time for some questions and answers and uh, with that I will turn it over to Lieutenant Lowe. Good afternoon. Thank you all for helping us get the story out today. I want to relay some of the facts as we know them so far and a few additional details that we've been able to uncover uh, in this case. On July the 13th at approximately 9.34 p.m. the Hoover 911 Center received a call from a 25-year-old female on I-459 southbound near mile marker 11. She reported that she saw a toddler walking on the side of the interstate. After calling 911, the caller stopped to check on the child and also called a family member to report the same details. The family member lost contact with the caller, but the line remained open. Police officers who were already en route to the location of the initial 911 call located the female's vehicle as well as some of her belongings at the scene. They were unable to find her or a child in the area, and Hoover police have not received any additional calls of someone missing a small child.